This video demonstrates the use of IGW to create a three-dimensional groundwater model with multiple layers. First, a two-dimensional model is created, which is then converted to a three-dimensional model by adding layers and additional features in an interactive manner. As each layer or feature is added, the impact of each incremental change is visualized as the model's complexity increases. Simultaneously, a mass balance analysis is performed that also shows the impact of each change. Finally, this video shows how the conceptual layers can be discretized into computational layers to provide greater vertical resolution of processes. The steps to create the model are as follows. 1. Set the workspace extent to 10,000 meter by 7,500 meter. 2. Create a polygon covering the entire modeling workspace. Edit its properties and attributes explore. In the Flow Properties tab, check Conductivity and assign a constant value. In the Elevations tab, check Top Elevation and Bottom Elevation and assign constant values to both. In the Source and Sinks tab, go to the Prescribe Flux tab and check the Recharge box and assign a constant value. 3. Select the Zone Budget button at the bottom of Attributes Explorer to enable Mass Balance Analysis. 4. Create a polygon at the eastern edge of the model to represent a river. Edit its properties in Attributes Explorer. In the Source and Sinks tab, go to Head Dependent Flux and select the two-way Head Dependent Flux. Select River and enter constant values for Stage, Bottom Elevation, and Leakins. Five, discretize and run the model. Six, go to the Attributes Explorer window. In the bottom right hand corner, select Water Balance under Zone 2, the aquifer polygon. This opens the mass balance window for the aquifer. Note that all of the recharge entering the aquifer is flowing out of the aquifer into the river as base flow. Seven, to add a layer, go to File, Create New, Layer, and select OK to add one layer below the existing layer. 8. Now create a polygon in the second layer. 9. Edit its properties and attributes explore. In the Flow Properties tab, check Conductivity and assign a constant value. In the Elevations tab, Check bottom elevation slash thickness. Select thickness and enter a constant value. 9. Discretize and run the model. 10. Note that the mass balance window has not changed much, although additional terms representing the flux between the two layers can be seen. The relatively minor impact for the addition of the second layer is because of the lower hy hydraulic conductivity. 10. Now add another layer below the second layer. 11. Create a polygon in the third layer. 12. Edit its properties and attributes explore. In the Flow Properties tab, check Conductivity and assign a constant value. In the Elevations tab, check Bottom Elevation slash Thickness and select Thickness and enter a constant value. 12. Discretize and run the model. 10. Note that the Mass Balance window now shows more significant changes, although the total flux entering the river does not change. The terms show an increase in the flux through the bottom of the first layer which flows through the confining unit, the second layer, and enters the third layer and flows horizontally before upwelling back through the confining unit to the first layer and finally discharging to the river. Note that this flux is exactly balanced, since no additional source or sinks are present in the second or third layers. Thirteen, add a pumping well to the third layer. Fourteen, discretize and solve the model. Fifteen, 
The mass balance shows that the discharge to the river has now decreased. The fluxes through the bottom of the first layer are no longer balanced, as more flux leaves the first layer than upwells back into it. The difference in flux is captured by the pumping well in the third layer. 15. A polygon is inserted in the second layer with a higher hydraulic conductivity to represent a break in the confining layer. 15. Sixteen. Now click on the discretize button and click on define number of computational layers to increase the number of vertical layers in each conceptual layer. Note that the layers are discretized by using the water table, which discretizes the saturated thickness of the unconfined aquifer rather than the entire thickness. Seventeen. Solve the model. The mass balance analysis window now shows the mass balance for each computational layer individually. The overall mass balance for the conceptual layer can also be computed.